A production fee was paid to WBBZ-TV from the Erie County Agricultural Society for this special presentation. With sponsorship from Milk for Health and Paula's Donuts. It's time for Fair Day Live with everything you need to know about the Erie County Fair with interesting people, places, and events at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. With that and more surprises, here's Liz Mantel. Can you believe we are on day 10 of the Erie County Fair? Still plenty of uh, fair left. Uh, let's see, we're going to the dogs today. We're also going to take a visit to the Fireman's Building and Niaway Village. So a very packed show for you today. And of course, let's get a rundown of what's going on today at the fair. All right, we've got uh, kids 12 and under. Again, free admission every day. Uh, and you can buy those tickets at the gate, 2260. Don't forget, you uh, credit card sales only at the door. But we do have those reverse ATMs available at gates 1 and 4. That means if you don't want to use a credit card, you can put money into the ATM. You'll get a card out. And that's what you can use at the gate. Free parking. Parking, of course, attendance always there to assist you. And yeah, visit ecfair.org to get those food and shopping coupons and of course the schedule as well. That's at ecfair.org as well. And if you want to have it right at your fingertips, download the Fairgrounds mobile app. That's powered by the New York State Lottery. You'll be able to get all that information where everything is on the fairgrounds, all the food, all the good stuff right there at your fingertips. All right, two ceremonies again tonight. We've got the firefighter honoree ceremony at six. It's Paul Gorsica from the Orchard Park Fire Department. Again, a wonderful ceremony outside the fireman's building. And then our flag retreat honoree of the day um, is Robert Szymanski from the U.S. Navy. That's at 630 inside Slade Park at the flagpole. Again, another just wonderful ceremony with the Erie County Fair All-Star Band there as well. So make sure uh, you stop and see one of those tonight. Uh, the Youth Livestock Expo meet Goat Show goes on today, 2 p.m. in the Showplex. And then tonight, I love this event. It's the Grand Drive for the Youth Livestock Expo. That's at 8 p.m. Grand and Reserve Grand Champions. Uh, they get to, like, walk the red carpet. It's this whole big deal. And David, my coach, uh, he's going to be there, and so am I cheering him on. Tommy V, uh, comedy hypnotist, is at the Cornerstone Community Federal Credit Union Avenue of Flag stage. You can watch him as he captivates audiences with his stage hypnotist. Gnosis. That's uh, free entertainment today. And tonight, the Channel 4 Concert Series. It's Travis Tritt with Aaron Tippin and Pam Tillis in the Buffalo News Grandstand. Now that is going to be a show tonight. Starts at 6 p.m. You can get those tickets ecfair.org. And don't forget, when you buy a concert ticket, it also counts as your entry into the fair. All right, one of the other free shows that you can see at the fair, we're going to the dogs. Yep, located inside Gate 5. It is the all-star stunt dog show. We've got Stephen Collier with us. How are you doing? Well, we're doing great. The dogs, you know, the alarm went off this morning and they knew something special was going <laughs> on, so they were a little extra fired up this morning. What's this pup's name? This name is, or his name is Vigo. Hi, Vigo. Am I allowed to pet Vigo? Absolutely. Okay, he I would prefer it. Hi. Hi. You got to watch out for that tongue. Hi. We're just going to do this for however long I have. I don't care. Um, <laughs> all right, we've also got some other dogs. Who's this dog? This is Supernova. Supernova. Who's a striker? Striker. Spitfire. And Spitfire. <laughs> all right, we'll do a little nose tap. All right, I just I had to introduce all the dogs. All right, so um, let's talk about the show. Obviously, it's a stunt show. What can people expect when they come? They can expect a, uh, a fur flying family good time. <laughs> um, our dogs will come and they will do some amazing tricks and stunts. We do agility, we do frisbee. We do all sorts of crazy things that you've never seen dogs do before. All right, we are going to see that here in a couple of minutes, but how, how does one get into this? How do you know if your dog can be a stunt dog? Well, first of all, you want to make sure you have a dog that loves to play. You also want to make sure that you get them health, te health tested to make sure that they, their hips and everything can handle um, the agility and the high jumping and things like that. And then just lots of patience and love. <laughs> patience, and, uh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. You, once you get that first sit stay, um, you can start building off of that. I don't know. I've, I've been going to ask this question because I'm just thinking about what's the difference between a stunt dog and then like a dog that they would use on the movies? Because that, that's two different skill sets, right? Yes and no. Sometimes those do coexist, um, but you need to have a dog 
if you want to get into this industry that doesn't get distracted by things, that it has a uh, very high focus. And um, as you were or earlier today, we had someone else hold Vigo. Mm -hmm. So in movies, you're gonna need dogs that can interact with anybody and everybody. For stunt dog shows, they don't necessarily have to uh, interact with anyone at all. So there is a little difference there. Okay, so patience can't be distracted. I'm already out. I could not be in the all-star <laughs> dog stunt show okay well I can see that all these dogs are very excited they are ready to show some off so can we see just a little preview of what we can expect today all right who do we want to start we gonna start with Vigo or are we gonna start with Spitfire. so we're gonna start with Spitfire all right Spitfire show us what you can do all right, as Spitfire's going, what time are your shows? 12.30, 3.30, and 6.30 every day of the fair. Now, Spitfire, I could spin around. Hm. Oh. I love it. And I imagine that kids are screaming and cheering and getting excited. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they definitely get fired up in the show. Um, our dogs actually do feed off of the audience's applause. Uh, um, it's uh, good positive reinforcement. Positive. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> the jokes. <laughs> Yay! Round of applause in the studio. I love it. All right, who's up next? Who are we going to see now? We're going to see, as we get the next dog, Liz is going to do some stunts. All right, who do we have here? <laughs> this is Stryker. Stryker, okay, we're going to see what Stryker can do. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing, Stryker. I got it. <laughs> You know, some of these dogs have some incredible background stories of where they came from, uh, starting off in a shelter or a pound, uh, no fault of their own. And it just goes to show you that no matter where you come from, you can rise above that and uh, do something amazing. I absolutely love this. Do you ever have parents or anything that, that come to you after they've seen a show going, okay, well, my kids went home and they tried to do all these tricks with the dog. <laughs> we actually get that all the time. Uh, we have people that are like, oh, I have a dog that can jump and what do you recommend we do? And uh, we do a partner show where we uh, teach them how to introduce uh, their dogs at home to the sport of Frisbee. Oh, Frisbee. Oh, I love it. All right, we have about a minute left, so we want to make sure the last dog gets in. Yay! All right. Oh, <laughs> ready to show. All right, now I want to call this dog um, Bluey, which is not, but you told me that this is the dog that is on Bluey. Yes. It's so a healer. Like, uh, chili. And looks bingo. Like chili. Yeah. Chili yeah. and bingo. All right, so. let's see. She's a very sassy, uh, fiery red healer there. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> All right, again, when are the show times? 12.30, 3.30, and 6.30 every single day. Yay, and again, they're located right inside Gate 5. Thank you so much. Make sure you stop and see, and I won't be able to do that. All right, coming up, we've got more on Fair Day Live. <laughs> Fair Day Live continues after this. Travis Tritt, 2024, playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th, the Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Letting people get to know our farm, promoting dairy and promoting agriculture in a positive way. And just sharing that story, Milk for Health does it wonderfully. Legacy is so strong in dairy farming. I want to honor the things the farmers before us did and to be able to just keep things moving forward so that the next generation is able to keep farming. Get ready for the best 12 days of summer at the Erie County Fair. I love coming to the fair for the food. We love looking at all the animals. I like the games. The roller coaster where it goes, ooh, 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 ooh. We love the entertainment. I love the concerts. Everything is really fun. So much food, so much entertainment, so many animals, so much fun it needs to be shared. Share your fair! Share your fair. It's the best 12 days of summer. Get your fair tickets and plan your visit now at ecfair.org. Start your day the Paula's way. Whether you're on your way to the fair or another hometown summer destination, take the great taste of Paula's with you. Donuts, pastries, bagels, beverages, and more. We're family owned and operated. 
Paula's products are made fresh the old-fashioned way. Voted number one by Buffalo Spree Magazine. Paula's Donuts, made with love in Tonawanda, Williamsville, West Seneca, and Larkinville in Buffalo. Get the sweet details at paulasdonuts.com. Travis Tritt, 2024. Playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th. The Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. All right, well, the fair, we always salute our hometown heroes each and every evening, including our firefighter honoree ceremony. And it happens right outside of the fireman's building, uh, which has a ton of stuff in it as well. And joining us to talk a little bit more about that is Roger Brennan. Welcome. Welcome. Thank um, you. So the fireman's building, first of all, just outside, it's a very big presence on the fair. And uh, there's so many cool things in there. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the fireman's building and, and what people can experience when they come in? So yeah, being the biggest building on the fairgrounds uh, where you can pretty much see it from everywhere on the fair, we pride ourselves in uh, really being a focal point of the fair. Uh, so every year we bring in the old fire trucks because everyone loves seeing those. Yeah. Um, and the companies that participate in bringing those trucks take a lot of pride in you know, having those trucks shined up and ready to go. Um, and the maze, we, we have, we're showing that right now. Tell Good. us a little bit about the maze, because that is always a hit. So I'm particularly fond of that maze because it was my brainchild. Um, I did it at my home fire company at Ellicott Creek many years ago. The kids loved it. Um, at a meeting for the association, the, the guys were looking for something from the fair. They wanted something more interactive. And I said, well, I do this thing. And boom, there I was. And now I'm, you know, neck deep in it every year. Um, the kids love it. I've had so many parents this year talk about how it's the focal point for their kids to come to the fair. Forget the rides for straights. They want to do the maze because they can just go through, go through, go through. I wish I could get through that maze as fast as they do. Um, I'd love to put a, a weight on their butts to see, a, you know, see how, really, let's see really how really good how good are. they are. Let's yeah, see. but but yeah, they um, they love it. The parents love it. It's just something for them to do. Um, we also have a recruitment set up in the fair. Everybody that's in the building is a fireman and can talk about their companies and the particulars for joining um, and just talk about the fire service and you know how great it is. It's so. probably great for kids to meet firefighters as well. Um, kind of get used to the idea in case they ever are in an emergency. Let's talk a little bit about the 911 simulator. Yeah, so that um, is something that we didn't have in the past uh, that, that has been a hit. Um, teaching kids at any age, especially in the age of cell phones, to be able to call 911 is so important. Um, and just like teaching their exit plans to get out of the house in an emergency, it's just good to teach them as early as possible. Uh, smoke detectors, evacuation plans, 911 all come, you know, into play. And the faster they call, the faster we get there, and the less uh, injury or damage to property there is, which is our main goal. You know, we talked, we touched on recruitment. You know, every night we do the ceremony where we honor a, a firefighter who has just done a lot for the community. It's a wonderful ceremony, and I'm just, I'm so honored every night to get to read these stories and, and be a part of it. But what is it, what do you think calls people to, to join the service, whether paid or volunteer? Uh, yeah, I, it, it takes a special something. Like, you really want to give to the community. Um, and, and those people that are getting these awards every year, you know, for the 12 days, it's great that we honor 12 firefighters every year. Um, the list of names keeps growing. The, the work that those people do and the dedication that they've had for the um, fire service, it, it's greatly pushed us, you know, in the right direction. And, and it's made the fire service grow to, you know, and something to be proud of. So. And I salute every one of them. I've worked with many of them uh, in different capacities. And you just, the, the parts you read about what they do is just the tip of the iceberg a lot of times. There's so much behind the scenes that those people do that, that they don't even care about the recognition for. Right. Some of them are just like, oh, yeah, okay, thank you. And, you know, that's, that's it for them. They don't, they don't do it because they're looking for that. They do it because it comes from the heart and it's just helping your fellow human beings. And their worst day. I love when I go into the fireman's building and you see all the firefighters that are there voluntarily. Um, and you are in charge of like setting up the whole building. So obviously it means a lot to you, but what's your background? 
So I started uh, with Ellicott Creek in Amherst. Uh, I've since relocated um, and joined a different company, but I'm still, that's my home. Uh, I'm still proud of that company and all the people there and the great work they do and all the companies in that town. Um, but yeah, became an EMT because I had children and being an officer, uh, I became an officer very early in my career. And I just wanted to, if I was going to be in charge, I needed to know what to do. So I became an EMT. So I knew what they were supposed to do, right. and, you know, just different things. And, and again, that's just opened the door to meeting so many of these great people. I've went all over the country for training and you just always meet people that are of the same mindset and, this, and we're all brothers and it doesn't matter where you're from or what your background is, you are their brother and, and the same for us here uh, when they come into town and yeah, I love meeting the firemen in the building that come from all their places and they're like, wow, this is great. Uh, we started uh, redoing our patch board so we could get patches from all over the country and put those on display. And it's neat when you see people come in and go, oh, that's the, that one's my favorite. Like, and it's from California or somewhere. Very cool. Well, thank you for what you do. No and problem. don't forget, you can check out the ceremony tonight, six o'clock, right outside of the Fireman's Building. We've got more uh, Fair Day Live coming up. Fair Day Live continues after this. Travis Tritt, 2024, playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th, the Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Letting people get to know our farms, promoting dairy and promoting agriculture in a positive way. And just sharing that story, Milk for Health does it wonderfully. Legacy is so strong in dairy farming. I want to honor the things the farmers before us did and to be able to just keep things moving forward so that the next generation is able to keep farming. Stop by the WBBZ TV5 gazebo next to the Historica building at the Erie County Fair. Make a $1 donation and spin the wheel of summer fun where everyone wins. Plus, meet your favorite personalities from your hometown MeTV station. Your donation benefits the substance abuse education programs offered by Prevention Focus with sponsorship support from Bopchus Pierogi, Salvatore's Pizza, Kuzchiki Bakery in Stolot at Eastern Hills, Chef's Restaurant, and The Printed Image. We'll see you at the WBBZ TV5 gazebo at the Erie County Fair August 7th through the 18th. Start your day the Paula's way. Whether you're on your way to the fair or another hometown summer destination, take the great taste of Paula's with you. Donuts, pastries, bagels, beverages, and more. We're family owned and operated. Paula's products are made fresh the old fashioned way. Voted number one by Buffalo Spree Magazine. Paula's Donuts, made with love in Tonawanda, Williamsville, West Seneca, and Larkinville in Buffalo. Get the sweet details at paulasdonuts.com. Travis Tritt, 2024, playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th, the Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. All right, well, we are so thankful that the fair celebrates diversity uh, in our area, including uh, Native Americans and indigenous people. And the Niowa Village is absolutely just one of the coolest places to go. It's a quiet getaway, but also gets very active at different parts of the day. And here we've got Blaine Tall Chief with us from the Niowa Village. Thank you for coming. Uh, last year, you brought uh, some dancers, and then they were like, oh, Liz likes food. So this year, you brought food. Yeah, we're going to get to food. that in a second, yeah. don't you? Yeah worry um but can we start with what does niaway mean niaway means uh i thank you so yeah you know, just yeah you know, in a nutshell that's ba basically what it is it's just niaway uh, and you know um you know to be uh you know just to be thankful uh, that's you know one of our i i guess you could say um uh really um just to be thankful every day. Yeah. Every day. So yeah, that that's. Uh, well, we're definitely thankful to have Niaway Village again, one of my favorite places to go on the fairgrounds, and a lot of improvements actually have been made oh, yeah. to the village. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we have uh, what's called our, our Skyestani, the Learning Center, and uh, we have uh, different artists that uh, we um, premiere every day. 
uh, different ones. And uh, we have a couple that are uh, pretty much like mainstays within the um, uh, within the village. Uh, one in which is uh, my father, uh, Elliot Tallchief. Um, he's a, uh, a crafter of our what's called gustawats or headdresses, and he also makes uh, drums and rattles. And he's a uh, uh, Vietnam era Navy veteran. Wow. And he's also a boarding school survivor. So. Oh really? Yeah, yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so anybody has any questions about you know uh, boarding schools uh, or even you know some Navy stories? Uh, he'll be you, willing to talk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you if you got a couple hours, yeah, he'll he'll, he'll talk your ear out. And there is so. a, a educational center there that people can go in and, and yeah. learn about the culture, the history, yes. ask any questions, and of course yes. we have to touch on. Uh, the shows that you do every day as well. Yes, our shows run uh, one, four, and seven, and uh, we do uh, feature some other other uh, like uh, different dancers like uh, throughout the day, and you know, and all these uh, all these dances that we do, all uh, that we have, you know, they're, they're, we call them Yoinzage Kaha the Gainunge songs of the earth, or earth songs, and you know, they've been been around for a long time since time immemorial. And you know the you know, different dancers every year, uh, really you know energetic, energetic dancers. Uh, they uh, kind of make me want to get out there and, and do some dancing. So. Obviously, it's it's entertainment for people to come and watch, but there is significance to these dances. They mean yeah. something. Yes, there is. Yes, uh, um, most of our dances have stories behind them, where they come from. Uh, take for instance, um, you know the our our ladies dance. That, that's the new style. Um, talks about how you know, the, you know, there was a sky world, and that you know, this, and that sky world was a celestial tree, and on that tree, you know, it, it grew uh, fruit, and it was forbidden for those people to you know pick any of that fruit. And then one day, a pregnant woman, she went over to that tree and she started digging down to the roots, and she dug down so far she put a hole in that sky world. And she knelt down to look through that hole and she saw nothing but water. And as she did that, she fell. And as she fell, she grabbed some of those roots and started falling towards that water. And these waterfall birds caught her. They you know, flew around with her for a while. And they said, we can't fly around with her forever. We're going to drop her. So this turtle came up out of the ocean. And they set that woman on the turtle's back. And she sent the muskrat down to the bottom of the ocean and he brought back soil to that woman. She took that soil and that root. She started dancing, shuffling her feet, you know, singing this song going in a counterclockwise direction. And as she did that, that, that it began to grow. And it grew into what we now call Turtle Island. I'm pretty sure, you know, there's a lot of people that have heard that, you know, before. And, you know, that that's where that dance comes from. So it's in, I mean, just incredible the stories yeah, that you have. Yeah. All right, we have about 30 seconds left, and I have to try some of this. So tell us what we have here, and this is you can get this in the village. Yes. Well, this here, this is our corn soup. Okay. Or, or in our language, we call onohua. It kind of looks like black eyed peas. Kind of does, yeah, but it doesn't taste like that. It tastes much different. Much different. It tastes like corn. And Absolutely. It, it, and is uh, uh, a lot different than uh, sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Sweet corn. This is actually a protein. Um, okay. Yeah. So you get protein upon protein because there's you know uh, beans and also salt pork in there. And then this is our, take a sip of this. our strawberry drink. Very very good. Oh um, my! It tastes just like strawberries. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. This. I don't That's, know what I was expecting, but like, when I say it tastes like strawberries, I don't mean the flavor. I mean it tastes like a strawberry. Yeah, I mean basically that's what it is. It's just you know strawberry and water, and this is what we call our kahkwagita, the, the fry bread, fry bread, fry bread. Right. pretty much like fried dough. You know, like you would get you know up here in the middle. Hey, um, absolutely delicious. Available for purchase. Go down, experience the whole village. It's been redone, accessible to all. Yes. Blaine Tall Chief, thank you so much for coming oh. in. All right, plenty Meow. more Fair Day Live coming up. I'm going to keep eating this. We'll be right back. Fair Day Live continues after this. 
Travis, Travis Tritt, 2024. Playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th, the Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Letting people get to know our farms, promoting dairy and promoting agriculture in a positive way. And just sharing that story, Milk for Health does it wonderfully. Legacy is so strong in dairy farming. I want to honor the things the farmers before us did and to be able to just keep things moving forward so that the next generation is able to keep farming. Get ready for the best 12 days of summer at the Erie County Fair. I love coming to the fair for the food. We love looking at all the animals. I like the games. The water coaster where it goes, ooh, 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 ooh. We love the entertainment. I love the concerts. Everything is really fun. So much food, so much entertainment, so many animals, so much fun it needs to be shared. Share your fair! Share your fair. It's the best 12 days of summer. Get your fair tickets and plan your visit now at ecfair.org. Start your day the Paula's way. Whether you're on your way to the fair or another hometown summer destination, take the great taste of Paula's with you. Donuts, pastries, bagels, beverages, and more. We're family owned and operated. Paula's products are made fresh the old fashioned way. Voted number one by Buffalo Spree Magazine. Paula's Donuts, made with love in Tonawanda, Williamsville, West Seneca, and Larkinville in Buffalo. Get the sweet details at paulasdonuts.com. Travis Tritt, 2024. Playing all the songs you know and love. Friday, August 16th, the Buffalo News Grandstand Erie County Fair. Special guests, Pam Tillis and Aaron Tippin. On sale now at ecfair.org. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. All right, that was another great show, which means another great day at the fair. And here's what you can look forward to today. Uh, the Youth Livestock Expo Meet Goat Show at 2 in the Showplex. And then the Grand Drive tonight for the Youth Live Expo at 8 p.m. Grand and Reserve Grand Champions chosen for their market animals. They get to walk a red carpet. Absolutely phenomenal. Again, 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, Tommy V, comedy hypnotist, the Cornerstone Community Federal Credit Union Avenue of Flag Stage. You can watch him as he captivates audiences with his stage hypnosis. It's going to be a good time. And Travis Tritt, Aaron Tippett, Pam Tills, 6 p.m. tonight in the Buffalo News Grandstand. Tickets at ecfair.org. All right, that was fun today. Had so much fun with Blaine Tall Chief, the dogs, uh, the fireman's building. So much left to go over the fair. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow morning. Make sure you catch us right here at WBBZ-TV or the Erie County Fair Facebook page. And uh, we are on at 1030 tomorrow. So you better be here. You better be here because I'm going to be here too. I'm going to eat some more bread. Fry bread. See you tomorrow. <laughs>